This is Photo P. It's a free online image editor that carries a lot of the same features as Photoshop. What I'm doing today is I'm creating contoured outlines to highlight things in an image. These outlines are highly customizable. They can take on many different looks. This particular map is a 4K image. It's actually slightly bigger than 4K. You can create different looking outlines. This can come in handy for both photo editors and video editors. My next example, here I have a horse. Pretend this was a video. I might want to say this is thunder and flash this on and off rather than using the typical arrows and other ways of highlighting things in, in a video. Okay, let's go to here. Here's Jennifer. Here's a troublemaking dog. This is whatever the heck it is. <laughs> it's just another example. Okay, so first things first. Select a subject. I'm selecting this puppy. This is the puppy that I'm going to make an outline around. You start by using the quick selection tool. I'm going to come up here, over here, left click on this. The menu comes up here where you can collect, you can select the quick selection tool. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the puppy and the way you apply this is you simply click and drag. Now as I clicked and dragged, if you're at all familiar with the way selections work, you can see this selection is totally surrounding the basket, it's surrounding everything. This is my actual selection at the moment. And all I want is the puppy. So the way this works is this is actually an older Photoshop tool. That This works, this is a little bit more old school than the newer ones. The newer ones work better than this one. But anyway, you come up here. Okay, see there's a plus and a minus. What I have to do now is subtract from the subject because too much area is selected. I'm going to hit minus. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I don't want to touch this puppy or its paws. I want to do a circle around the circumference of it without touching it. Okay, so I'm going around then I'm coming up over here being careful not to intersect with the puppy and I'm going to go all the way across here and that takes care of a lot of the selection that needs to be removed. Okay, I'm going to come over here that I can see how wide it is here. We can get rid of some of that. Okay, as you minus things, some of the puppy will be deselected, okay, like right here. Okay, no big deal. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this ear. Now, as you can see, less and less of this puppy is selected, so you have to come up to plus. It takes a little bit of patience to get this right, but now I'm going to click on the puppy's eye. I'm going to drag over. I'm going to grab its paw. See this little point on its mouth? We're going to select that. It's missing this part of the paw. And every time you do this, Photoshop is learning, well, Photo P is learning what you're doing. Okay, it's, it's learning what to keep and what to get rid of. I come back here to negative again. Now I'm going to click on this high spot. We're going to click on this spot. Come over and click on this paw. Got to click on the other puppy's paw again. There's a little bit of a raise section. Those you want to get rid of. Okay, go under its mouth, click again. There's a little bit of a, of a divot here that should be cleaned out. This puppy's face needs to come out of the picture. Here's a spike here. Click on it. There's a little tiny spot. See that up there? I'm going to click on it. Click on the top of the puppy's head. We're getting pretty close. We're going to come back up here. We're going to hit plus again. Now we're going to come down. We're going to click on this part of the puppy. Now click on its eye. Come over here a little further and we're very close click on the paw and a little bit more of the ear here could could be a keeper very close i'm going to hit negative one more time i'm going to come over here for this little spike click on it under here there's a couple little spikes here i'm going to try to calm that down okay you don't have to get this perfect, but you want to get it pretty close. Okay, now we got to come back to positive because I minused a little too much. Click on here, click on here. Click here. Everything looks good. Uh, right here on the chin needs a little bit of a tweak. One more time on the minus and I think we're home free. This little spike here, get rid of that. Ah. See, it can be a little frustrating. You just got to work it until you're done. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what do you do from here? You have to turn this into a path. How do I do that? Simple. I come up here to select. I'm going to select modify. And I'm going to select expand. Uh, this is a 1920 by 1080 image. Depending on the resolution of your image, depends on what values you may or may not want to choose. This is all part of the process. I'm going to go with a 15 pixel expansion. Click on this. Now, as you can see, this line is now expanded quite a bit around beyond the outside of the dog. Okay, so after that, I prefer to use quite a bit of smoothing. I think it looks better smooth than jagged. Okay, so I'm going to use smooth. Okay, presently it has a smooth value of 10. Let's hit that. That's okay, but it's still a little jaggedy to me. I'm going to hit, I'm going to come up here one more time, modify smooth, and we're going to do it one more time. Now that looks better, okay? This is a fairly smooth fluid line. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Now, for the last step, we're going to come up to select once again, modify, and we're going to choose border. Okay, the border, I'm going to stick with a value of 10. Now when I click on this, now you can see a double line surrounding this puppy. This is your stroke path, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to put this on a separate layer because it gives you a lot more control of what you can do with it, how you can export it. I mean, it's really critical to put it on a new layer. You come down to here, select new layer, okay? Then I'm going to come up to edit, fill, and here I can fill it with any color I want. Okay, any color under the sun. Let's fill this one with red. Okay, I'm going to say OK. I'm going to apply it. And there is my red stroked outline dog. Now here's the beauty of this. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect it. Okay, because this is on a separate layer, I can change the heck out of this stroke path. Double clicking it will bring up the layer style menu. I'm going to start by turning on bevel and emboss. Okay, this particular look, I went into the settings and I made a lot of tweaks. That is why this looks like this. I mean, there's a whole host of settings. Okay, this is far too deep of a subject to even begin to touch on. I'm just showing you some of the, some of the things you can do. Bevel and emboss, you can add a contour. That changes it dramatically based on settings that I used. Okay, you can cut this off. You can add a stroke. This stroke is green. It's uh, I think I use a yeah I use a different blending mode. If you switch it to normal, it looks different. Okay, you can add an inner shadow if you wanted to. Maybe you want an inner glow. Uh, you can do a pattern overlay. Now a pattern overlay, you can come up to your blending options and go to a blend if situation. I'm going to tweak this, and as I change this. You see the colors are changing within the pattern. Okay, I mean, there, there's an infinite number of ways you can change these things. It just depends on what you apply and the settings you use. Okay, now you can go to YouTube and look up layer styles and learn these in a little more in detail if you want to. But really, you can get in here and play with the settings and figure out what looks good to you. And that's really all you have to do. You can combine any number of effects to come up with infinite numbers of looks. So that, that, that's all I'm going to say about this. This is just too deep of a subject to cover. And I hope this helped you out. And that is all.